What's up guys, Chili Sports Cards here. <clears throat> so today, um, I got some mail day. Got three packages in the mail. I wanted to open up those for you guys. And um, I got together some of the cards that I wanted to send into SGC in my next order. Um, it's gonna be a pretty pretty decent little, little submission right here. Probably like 40 cards or so, so. Um, I want to just go over the cards with you that I want to send in and there's gonna be a few more that I still have coming in Because um, I've been buying stuff lately, so <clears throat> Without further ado, um Let's just go ahead and go over the cards I mean we're talking a pretty good stack of cards here, so um, I mean Let me move the camera up a little bit I just use my phone to record I don't use a GoPro or anything like that. So, so we got some mother's cookies here. Um, let's see if I can turn this on. There we go. So mother's cookies. You know, it's that, it's, the stack is kind of thick to hold on to, so make it a little smaller. So some mother's cookies cards. Um, you know, they all look pretty decent. I'm guessing they'll be nines or higher, and that's just for my. Um, my my SGC rookie Ken Griffey Jr. collection, <clears throat> pretty cool cards. Um, the the baseball's best. This one came out of the set that I opened, so we'll see how that does. And um, the Donruss, the rookies. <clears throat> I both I busted open a set to get this one. That's an '89 Bowman, '89 Fleer. We got some Cody Bellinger coming up. Here's the Topps Chrome, the Bowman Chrome, um, some Topps updates. I'm expecting nines on all that stuff pretty much, except for maybe some of the Griffey rookies. Um, I had this for sale for a while on my store, but I wasn't able to move it for a price that I was trying to get for it. So this is a really rare card right here. I think this is going to be one of those cards that you know five ten years once top series two you can't really find it in packs too often anymore you know it's gonna be a real rare one and I think that people will overlook the fact that it's an insert so I'm just gonna have to wait you know just hold on to this card so I think that that card has huge potential in the future but right now selling it raw for a hundred bucks when it's a number to 50 when I'm watching these um you know, vintage stock sell for over a thousand dollars. It makes me sick to my stomach, so I'm just gonna hold on to that one. Here's a Chipper Jones uh, 93 SP. That's a really clean card right here. It should get a nine or higher. Uh, the Kyle Lewis might win Rookie of the Year this year. He's doing really good. This is the refractor version. Uh, Pete Alonso. This is the in the set. <clears throat> it's a variation. Here's some Aaron Judge rookie cards. Um, pretty much the the regular base set. You know, it, it's not short prints or anything like that. It's just here's the original, and this is the um, and the set set, and this is like a team set. So I thought those are pretty cool. Uh, this is the update Chrome Ronald Acuna, and this is the update Walker Bueller Auto. A couple cows here. We got 96 Flare Hot Gloves. I don't expect this one to grade that well. It's got a couple little issues on the back and the bottom in the corner some white showing and stuff like that so um, I just want to get the card slabbed I really don't care that much I think it's a really cool card uh, this one I pulled myself this is a Ripken um, in fuego and this one's numbered to 25 so I want to get those two slabbed hey, are you guys okay you're making funny noises so the other stack um, it's my favorite football player right here Chris Carter uh, Flair Legacy or Flair is it Legacy or was it is it a showpiece or showcase? If it was the Legacy one, it would be numbered. Ne needless to say, I think this cover looks sick in a SGC holder. Um, this one right here is the Legacy Flair Showcase, and um, this one is numbered. This is right there out of ninety nine. So, <clears throat> a couple of flare showcases. Oh, another one of those. We got two of them. There's a Bowman's Best. Um, this one's number to 400. 
And I'll, I also have a Topps Gold Label Class 2 somewhere that I want to be adding on to that. This order also. And those are PC cards. I won't be selling those cards for sure. Um, I just cracked the case on this bad boy today. If you haven't watched that video, go back and check it out. So I cracked two cases. This was in a PSA 8. Um, we'll see how it does. I think it'll be an SGC anywhere from an 8 to a 9. Um, a guy that I'm really big on recently. Let's see if I can separate it to where it stops. This is all Matt Chapman right here. Cards that I've been buying lately of him. So this is the burst, uh, first Bowman Chrome Refractor. There's two of them. This one right here is centered better. I picked these up for pretty cheap. They weren't that expensive. Um, this is the Bowman's first Chrome Auto. Um, this is the one that I busted in a case in my last video. So, um, like I said, if you haven't watched it, go back and check it out. The centering on both of these are very similar. This one I think might be slightly better. They're about the same. Um, the autos definitely look different. It's kind of interesting. There's another auto right here. Um, this one's numbered to 100, but it's a Panini off-brand. So, um, this these ones right here will be ones that I hold on to and wait to see how the value goes up in a couple years probably. And um, I might sell those at, at some point, or at least sell one and keep one. This one right here is a PC card. And then uh, Matt Chapman, this is the Topps Chrome. We've got one, two, and three Topps Chrome updates. And then uh, three Topps Chrome, or not, just Topps Update paper. I checked out all those cards. They look pretty good. I, I don't expect any of those cards to get less than a nine, really. So pretty good stuff right here <clears throat> and then the, a couple other cards um, these are both Brandon Lowe Topps Gold Label rookie autographs um, neither one of them are numbered they're just the basic you know common auto but um, you know Brandon Lowe has been doing really good I got these at a really good price I think they're about $10 a piece so I anticipate those cards going up to uh, probably around $50 $60 at least by the end of the season so um yeah those are those are flip me cards i, I honestly i could care less about brian low but um that's kind of putting it pretty severely i guess it sounds mean but um yeah i mean i, I just i got no interest in brian low as a to uh to collect so here's a um this is a tops update but it's the rainbow foil Matt Chapman. Card looks really nice actually. Um, I don't see anything wrong with the front whatsoever. In the back, um, I'm going to say it's perfect, but it, it's not bad at all. It should 9 5, in my opinion. So there's uh, another card to add to my Chapman pile. It's the Rainbow Foil. And let's see what's in package number two here. I'm kind of hoping. <clears throat> There's a certain card that I'm kind of hoping to get in the mail today because uh, I want to do another video showcasing that one that's going to nearly complete my SGC set. So, um, this one has uh, some, looks like 2011 Tops cards in it. Edwin Jackson, Matt Kane. Johnny Damon. I'm not sure if this is a uh, the update or if this is the um, just the regular tops 2000 2011. Couldn't tell you, but here's another regular tops update paper. Matt Chapman. <clears throat> yeah, you can get those update Matt Chapman cards for like five bucks so you know you get it graded and then it grades nine or ten and you turn around and possibly sell it for forty or fifty dollars that's a good little you know twenty five dollar profit right there you're gonna have to wait some time but um I think it's a pretty solid little flip you know I think the way that things are on eBay and what people like to buy and the dollars that people like to spend 
that's like the perfect type of flip or the, the type of sell you know you buy a card for like five to ten dollars you get it graded and then you can turn around and sell it for anywhere from 40 to 80 you know and you're making enough to cover your um your expenses as far as like the grading fee and that kind of stuff and then the um the ebay fee and the paypal fee and everything so this is the other matt chapman um this one's a little special though the card actually looks really clean for a gold yes i said it's a gold there's a um serial number right there so this is the gold version number to 2017 um it might be the cleanest one that i have i don't know how the centering is um we'll just compare it to this rainbow foil so you know definitely i can see some differences like in the hand i think they're close but his head looks like it's pretty much in the same spot you know i don't know centering is really hard to judge when you don't have a complete border um so yeah so there's a gold there's the rainbow some chromes bowman first chrome refractors um yeah like i said in, in videos before this I, i'm really big on matt chapman i think that the a's are doing really good he's not going anywhere for the next couple years i don't think and uh he's pretty much the star on that team matt olson's also very good they're both winning gold gold gloves in the corners um they're both mats and uh you know it's they're they're pretty cool to watch this year man so it's it's kind of nice to to have a good A's team and um i wouldn't say that the A's are my favorite team but they are fun to watch and i don't i don't even know if i have a favorite team anymore i, I used to be more of a reds mariners fan because of griffey uh, more of a player fan than a, a team fan because I, I just like baseball um, across the board every team but I think if I had to pick a team to be my favorite team to just actually want the, the team to do well I'd probably say that I'm a Reds fan um, just because my great grandfather used to play for the Reds and um, yeah I like their history and stuff so anyway um, that's going to do it for the video guys um, I got a lot of cards to send into SGC um, hoping to get that accomplished here pretty soon I got some stuff on my store that I'm trying to move um, so that way I can at least cover a good amount of the uh, the SGC order price the costs and so um, until I sell a couple things oh I didn't mean to hit the camera there sorry about that um, so anyway alrighty guys you guys have a great day I appreciate it um, yeah, have a great day. Talk to you later.